What is up, gender enthusiasts? I am evasive and I, um, No, it is not clickbait. I really went outside and pulled four transgender people off the streets of New York City, gave them a pizza, and recorded their reactions while I made them watch Jack and Jill. And I know you're thinking, Ava, oh my God, why? And the answer is this. I am desperate for views. Now let's talk about Adam Sandler. What can I say about the Sandman that hasn't been said already? He is an enigma, a king of comedy, a god of fashion and basketball, a legend with acting superpowers who literally chooses to use his powers for evil instead of good. In the late 2000s and early 2010s, Sandler was at his peak. Columbia Pictures was writing him blank checks to make anything he wanted. Anything. Anything. They really... They let him make anything. Produced, written by, and starring Adam Sandler, Jack and Jill was released on 11 11 11 and almost instantly became legendary as one of the worst movies ever created. Famously being the only movie to ever completely sweep the Razzie Worst Picture Awards, winning every single one. But because we live in a society, the movie was a huge success, making $141 million on a $79 million budget. $141 million. 141 million. This made more money than all of these other movies that came out that year. This did. This movie. This one. Adam Sandler movies will always make a lot of money. That's just an irrefutable fact of the universe. It doesn't matter what it is or what they do, they will make money. They publicly showed this movie as a torture device on Survivor and it still turned a huge profit. The winning tribe will be taken from here to the Survivor South Pacific Cinema where you will enjoy an exclusive sneak peek of the new Columbia Pictures movie, Jack and Jill, starring Adam Sandler. How are we doing? Where were you? <laughs> I've been waiting forever for you. This place is creeping me out. What? Oh! <laughs> I have a gun. Oh my God. <laughs> and I admit I did contribute to this. When this movie came out, my friend's mom took us to go see it in the theater and it was a once in a lifetime experience. You had to be there. You really did. I really do believe that the course of my entire life was changed when I saw Dunkachino on the big screen. Oh yeah, spoilers. This is the movie that Dunkachino comes from. It's from Jack and Jill. Adam Sandler made him do this. Okay, that's enough context. Let's get into it. So they they play twin, Adam Sandler and Bay. <laughs> they, Adam Sandler, Adam Sandler is, is twins. Movie. Yes, Adam Sandler, <laughs> they, them. Adam Sandler. <laughs> so Jack and Jill opened with Regis Philbin having irritable bowel syndrome. Please, why do I have to have such diarrhea? You need to drink the pink. Hold it, cut. Alarming. Now meet Jack. Jack lives in LA. He makes commercials and he has a lot of money. And that's the whole character. Now here's a Dana Carvey cameo. What do you mean cut, man? I, I gotta be a Sesame Street by one. <laughs> by the way, Jill hasn't even shown up yet and already the makeup department has just given up. What? He has makeup all over his shirt. Oh my God, wait. That's transgender. Oh, wow, that is Oh my man. God. So the premise of the movie is that Jack's twin sister, Jill, is visiting LA for the holidays. And that's it. Now cut to the airport where Jill has arrived on what I believe to be an American Airlines flight, but I can't say for sure. And finally, the big reveal. Let's go. Oh, oh, let's it's go. coming. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, I slay. Yes, Honestly, girl. Honestly, just a little bit of gloss. They got the bangs right. Okay. Okay. By the way, whenever you see Jill in this movie, I just want you to know that Adam Sandler tried really hard with her, okay? he really tried. I got dressed as Jill two months prior to shooting the movie and walked around New York City as Jill for two straight months just to get a feel of what it's like to be a lady, a lonely lady. I went on dates with men. Come on, Adam. Come on. I tried to be as funny as I could be, but it was disgusting. It was disgusting for me and for those who looked at me. So Jack takes Jill home for Thanksgiving dinner and now we get to meet the family. There's Jack and Jill, of course, Jill's bird Poopsie, Tom Cruise's ex-wife, a couple grandparents that I honestly forgot were in the movie, a little girl in a colonial dress, an adopted son with a pepper shaker taped to his head, and a 
guy they found on the street. I love how nice we are to this homeless man, a person we don't even know, who probably is pretending to be homeless. You don't look homeless to me, you're fat! You're Al Qaeda! Now, though, this is offensive. Yeah. An Adam Sandler movie? Offensive? Okay. Yeah, but I'm more offended by the houseless person than Adam Sandler and drag. By the way, Jack and Jill have their own secret sibling language where they talk like minions, and it's so funny and not annoying at all. Ook maga dodo, pagogo. Ook maga dodo means I love you. Bangi means thank you. Clappa means left. Next we meet Al Pacino. Al Pacino plays himself, and he may or may not have been blackmailed into being in this movie. His character is more important to the plot than any of the other characters we just met. His character is actually so important, they probably could have called this movie Jack and Jill and Alfredo, and it would have made complete sense. Also, we meet Felipe. He is Jack's gardener, and his entire character is that he makes racist jokes at his own expense. I don't just do gardening. I do impressions too. When immigration shows up, I do a great impression of a tree. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Before we get any deeper into this plot though, we get to see a Jill cringe compilation. Jill crushes a pony. Jill tries to cuddle with Jack. Jill goes on the price is right. No. One dollar the winner! Good luck to you. Oh, wow, well, yeah, crazy. <laughs> Jill gets a jet ski. Wow, it's on the one! Please don't destroy my pool. This is why we can't have trans women in sports. And then there's this long bit where Jack and Jill one-to-one -one mirror each other in a movie theater, which got Esther started on a very deep analysis of Adam Sandler's gender dysphoria. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like he's he's examining like how his behavior would look, look on a woman. On a woman. Yeah. And he thinks that he would be really annoying. But fortunately, before the conversation could get too deep, I was able to distract the transgender people with some popcorn. It's and this so is a real... Adam Sandler loves the Yankees. And now here's a scene where Shaquille O'Neal licks a ham. A ham this good only comes once a generation. Like me. <laughs> I give this ham four rings. Oh, that, yeah, that was his choice. And my lemon ding dong, and my lemon ding dong. Turn the TV on. Jill is now refusing to go back home to New York, so Jack sets her up with an online dating profile to try and get her out of the house, which results in her going on a date with Norm MacDonald. But don't worry, Norm MacDonald does not play himself in this movie. His character's name is, um, Fun Bucket. Yeah, I'm playing Fun Bucket in, the, in this motion picture. And uh, I, I have a date with, uh, with Jill, who's played by Adam Sandler, which is odd because I know Adam Sandler in uh, real life. And uh, now, now I'm having a date with him. You know what? I'll be upfront with you. I, I live in the Bronx and I don't have any children. In all honesty, the clock's ticking, so if dinner works, we gotta get to work. I'm kidding you, I just- Wait, okay, I'm sorry. So this whole movie is Adam Sandler is unlovable because she's a trans woman? Yeah. <laughs> Great, I love that. And it that. also makes her annoying and loud. Yeah. yeah. I want you to know, audience, that while I am annoying and loud, dating is not a problem. <laughs> Jill gets rejected by Fun Bucket because she's Adam Sandler and cries herself to sleep. And now, because the universe is out to get me, here's a basketball scene. John, we're so close here. Hey, you got us in the game. What's, uh, what's going on with the beard, man? I'm doing research, I don't want to be recognized, okay? Now before I show you this next joke, I just want to warn you, it is actually kind of funny. Jack approaches Al Pacino to ask if he'd be in the Dunkachino commercial for him and introduces him to Jill. Now, those of you that haven't seen this movie, I'm going to give you five seconds to guess what happens next. Five, four, three, two, one. Al Pacino has a crush on Jill and gives her his phone number on a hot dog. Al Pacino. He has a crush on Adam Sandler in drag. Are you processing that? Are you processing that information? Well, stop processing that right now because I have something a lot worse. Really, it's fascinating. How does it work, Mr. Subway Sandwich? Shit, but that's no. Jared Bogle. No. 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 Jared Bogle. There's some other cameos in this party scene too. Some famous athletes, some sportscasters, models. Vince the Shamwow guy. I'm here on Jack and Jill set with uh, Adam Sandler. He's he's crazy. He's like there's no script. 
Not the, 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 the script didn't even start. It's just like he just does what he wants. After the party, Al Pacino takes Jill home to have sex, but instead she just destroys his Oscar. Put your love on him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh my God! I am so sorry. I'm sure you have others though. Ah, uh, you'd think it, but uh, oddly enough, I don't. He should have won for Dog Day Afternoon. Trans. 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 Yeah, this is the second movie where. Al Pacino's in love with the trans woman. Anyway, this movie is more than halfway over now, and Adam Sandler still hasn't hit his casual racism quota yet, so here's a scene where he can get it all in in one place. This is my friend Jill. Look, Hi. that's my father, my mama, my brother Juan, my other brother Juan, Juan Jr., my sister Juanita, my grandma Juangelina. Now, if you're Adam Sandler, how would you end this scene? What's that? You'd have Jill shit on grandma? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That was a deleted scene. Instead, she hits her in the face with a baseball bat. <laughs> Meanwhile, while Jill is at the party, Al Pacino comes over, and this time he is violently horny. Oh my god. I know she's in here, Pop. How'd you get over the fence? Jill, come on! You want me to get you some need? Uh, All I wanna do is make you happy! In fact, he's so violently horny, he agrees to do the Dunkin' Donuts commercial if Jack sets him up with Jill. Yes, that is the in-universe reason for Dunkachino existing. Dunkachino exists because Al Pacino wanted to fuck Adam Sandler in drag. Also, the reason why Adam Sandler cut the scene of Jill shitting on Grandma wasn't because it was too disgusting. It was just because there was another scene already like that. I have to go. I have to. What did I say? Oh no, it's not you. What? It's the chimichangas. Oh, they're making a run for the border. Oh, oh you're throwing chimichanga bombs? <laughs> oh, oh god. Jill, oh, where were you? Oh, oh. Girl, I'm Jewish too. The Crohn's disease runs within us. <laughs> so after the completely necessary diarrhea scene, Adam Sandler treats us to a very special product placement for Royal Caribbean Cruises. Welcome to Royal Caribbean International. Great, I hope you love that commercial for Royal Caribbean Cruises. Royal Caribbean, where extraordinary happens. And now it's time for another very, very, very poorly aged cameo. Jill, can you meet me when you dock in Spain? But what about your Shakespeare show? Don't you have that to do? Are you kidding? This is LA. They got Bruce Jenner playing Lord Rivers. No! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Oh my god. Can we pause? Yeah. Can we just... What are your thoughts on Can this we movie? just... It was at this point in the movie that the transgender people needed to pause and discuss the shocking cameo they had just witnessed. The video nearly fell apart here, but luckily after they had another drink, they calmed down and the show could resume. In case you forgot, Jack still needs Al Pacino to be in his Dunkin' Donuts commercial. So... Is Adam Sandler gonna put on drag now and pretend mm -hmm. to be his own sister? Mm -hmm. So now Jack disguised as Jill is in Al Pacino's vampire castle, desperately trying to avoid having sex with him. Al can't contain his horniness, so he tries to tickle her. I mean, fuck, I mean him. All right! Stop it! Meanwhile, Jill is at the cruise ship gym, getting some sick gains. But she realizes where Jack is, and it makes her very sad. returned to the cruise ship to make up with Jill, only to find that she's already returned to New York. The movie gets very emotional about this for about 58 seconds before it cuts to... I'm not wearing underwear. It's New Year's Eve. <laughs> Have some fun. God, you're hot. Mm. You know, I don't like to kiss the towel. But... <laughs> oh, oh, cool. Okay, that's it. I'm tapping out. I just have one thing I want to say, which is, Adam, sweetie, it's never too late. <laughs>
It's never too late, babe. That could have been a lot worse. I thought it was going to be way worse. I yeah. Thought be, I thought that was going to be so much worse. I would not say that I was at any point enjoying it. I think there were maybe five jokes that I genuinely enjoyed. Shockingly not that transphobic. There were like, what? I think we counted three. There were a handful of transphobic jokes. Three transphobic jokes. But I'm like, you get three transphobic jokes I think there were some transphobic motifs, though. Yeah. You so... There you have it. These four, speaking on behalf of the entire transgender community, have officially declared Jack and Jill to be not as offensive as it looks. Congratulations. 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 Adam Sandler, Columbia Pictures, Alfredo Pacino, Shaq, David Spade, ShamWow Guy, World Caribbean Cruise Company, Caitlyn Jenner. And also congratulations to all of you for watching this video. I am Evasive. Please like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And if you want to see the full recording of the transgender people watching Jack and Jill, I will have that up on my Patreon. Link in the description below. And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The final scene in Jack and Jill is, of course, the scene. You already know what it is. Something's brewing at D&D. Wow! Al Pacino! It's not Al anymore! It's Dunk! Dunkachino? Don't mind if I do! What's my name? Dunkachino! It's a whole new game! Dunkachino! You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend! Say hello to my chocolate blend! Attica, who I lucky like! This whole trial is out of sight! They pull me back in with hazelnut too! Caramel swirl, I know it was you! Everyone wants my Dunkachino. Can't get enough of my Dunkachino. Kids from 7 to 17 lining up for my Dunkachino. What's my name? Dunkachino. 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 Dunkachino.